Hello and welcome back to All Indie. Today we are playing some Tavern Keeper by Green Heart Games. Go check them out on TikTok. Um, I've I've seen their posts all over my For You page because it's literally building a fantasy tavern and like running it. And I'm a huge fan of these types of games like management type games, right? So I was like, I'm all about it. We gotta give it a shot. We absolutely have to try it. And their TikToks help a bunch, I will say. They're very entertaining. And I, I just, I love the concept of the game and what they've been showing, so. Oh goodness. Oh, get in there, get in there. She hit them with the, People's elbow, the orc's elbow. <laughs> ah, look how cozy it is. Oh, <laughs> not the bunny too. I love that this game has personality. <laughs> really? Really, dude? You're just gonna sit there and be like, Hey, yeah, totally. Can I get a new beer? Jerk. <laughs> I love that this game has personality. Uh, let me let me get all my settings worked out, and then we'll hop into a game. I'll be right back. All right, so I just went with the demo. There's a narrator looking for a main character. They're gonna... Show me how to do the basics. We're going to run the tutorial, or we're going to run the tavern for a little bit. Uh, and then, yeah, give you guys a little taste. Uh, just a little taste, a little bite of what Tavern Keeper's all about. Welcome to Halflington. Halflington. You must be here to audition for the protagonist role. Sure. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Psych. Take a look around. I'm here for the antagonist role. That's right. It's a hands-on sight kind of business. Okay. Ooh, okay. Q E. Cool. Zoom in, zoom out. Dope. I do love a tavern. Thank you, thank you. So cozy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. <laughs> nah, probably not, my man. Not to get too technical, but can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. A table? You want me to find you a table? <sighs> oh, that's a relief. You wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that one. <laughs> this next one will be a bit trickier. Uh-huh. Sure it will. A patron. That's what I call customers. I just like how fancy it sounds. Oh, jeez. I wonder if it's this dude. Correct. So, in the future, you might refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. Don't tell me what to do with my customers. I'll poke them if I want. Shall we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? Sure. Why not? The storeroom. It looks like it's back here. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh dear. I used to work at a coffee shop, I understand. This way. Always a handful, heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? Uh interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Alright. Click on the fellow with the book above his head. Do they speak? Hold on. Do they speak like a simian? Oh, I wanted to hear him. I don't think I caught it. You could get What? Shim, is that you? Wait a minute. Sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. Uh, <laughs> I'm well within my rights to tell this dude to stop chopping my bar, okay? I just want everybody to know that. I'm going to be polite. I'm going to be the polite one. What? Shim, is that you? Anyway. Excuse me, can I help you? He's giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Mm -hmm. Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. 
Never mind. I don't have time to educate the help. I have an epic journey to begin, and those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Hello? That would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? Eh. <sighs> Um, I'll g yeah. Um, how about you sit quietly over there, my guy, and order a lot of drinks? Tales start with heroes brooding in corners. If anyone comes in with a magic ring or a prophecy or something, send them my way. You got it, bud. Call to adventure. Yep. He takes a few steps away and then glances back, smiling hopefully. Actually, you haven't heard any adventurous prophecies that match my description, have you? No. <laughs> I, yeah, 100%. I heard that you can, I heard the prophecy of the wandering adventurer who sat over there and ordered all of our drinks. He tipped all of his money and the tavern lived happily ever after. I mean, the adventurer lived happily ever after. That, well, that sounds nice, actually. The whole destined hero thing was weighing on me, if I'm honest. If you need me, I'll be trying out a cozy chair by the fire. You hand him a tankard, and he wanders off to admire the decor, sword sheathed. Excellent. Thank you. you oh my god, the confetti. The Impressive. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Nah, man, I'm a pro. Let's move on. To see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. I'd like to see how you have a tavern by yourself. When you're ready. Move. Click to move on. Okay, moving on. Keeping the orcs at bay. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Halflington tavern. <laughs> oh, God. Teach you how to teach yourself. What? Covering your curse things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? Ugh. Tutorials. Fine. Tooltips. Many user interface elements of tools of like tools of good Okay. Learn about the nested tooltips. Ooh. Some tooltips like this one contain links to other tooltips or buttons. Before you can interact with elements within a tooltip, you have to wait for the tooltip to log in. This happens automatically after a few seconds. Continue tutorial. To continue the tutorial, hover, hover on this nested tooltip link. If the tooltip disappears when you try to mouse over it, you have to wait a few seconds to walk in. Okay. Nested tooltips. As you can see, tooltips can connect to, their, to other tooltips if it could be useful. All the way down. Just tooltips nested in. <laughs> tooltips nested in. 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 Tooltips. Tool yeah. That's what I thought, devs. Okay, I I am a hard-headed gamer. I will do this until the screen is full full of nested in tooltips. Okay, do you want to play this game? You want to play with me? Is this what you really want to do right now within the tutorial? I'm I'm ten minutes into this video. Actually, I'm probably nine minutes into this video. Is this what you want to do right now? Okay. I'm warning you. I'll do it. You see what I mean? The whole game floats on a rolling sea of bottomless tooltips. You can dive deeper and deeper and just as you think you, it's actually just another tooltip inside that tooltip is a link to yet another tooltip and contains a link that leads you to another tooltip that is a link to another tooltip. I'll, I'll keep doing this. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted, devs? I will do this until this looks like Windows has froze. And all it is is just the dragging around screens and stuff. Okay. Just in my patience. Already did this. Can't believe it. That's it. I'm in your DMs. <laughs> JK. Onwards. The tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece. What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Ooh. A tap room, you say. Okay, open the building menu. Select a tap. Building menu. Tap in the building menu. 
place a tap. Uh, can I rotate it? Cams. Fine rotation. Uh, I am so confused. How does this work? Uh, I'll do it this way. Sure. Ready to hire your first Absolutely. Velarani, you look like you... You look like you'd work at a bar in a tavern. Isn't saying that they're wiser than you, but they are elvish. Thinking about orcs makes them laugh. Interesting. Their favorite quality is their inheritance. What are you doing in a tavern, then? So you suck as a server. You're trash as a server. Um, just okay at... Oh, not okay on being sh a chef. Great at janitor... Dog's body skill takes care of odd jobs around the time from storing goods, loading taps to washing linens. Experienced can also inspect ingredients. What? Oh, I'm I'm down. I would hire you. Um, how many gold? 183. Uh, help wanted. Okay. Uh, somebody else. I need somebody who's gonna be good at serving. Their greatest hobby is fighting oozes. Love it. Both him. Love it. Spends her spare time avoiding doing work. Sure. Excels at distributing tips. <sighs> okay. God, it's so hard to find good help around here. Oh! Done. Hired. Welcome, pretty lady. I don't even know your name. Diana. Passing time. Work. Oh, what? Oh, gosh. Was that a Cyclops? That was a... Okay. What on earth? Ooh, so we have one half star. Waste not want not hope you want some waste. The scrape barrel. Okay, we got blood wine. The exact process of creation well known is often admitted from this for the sanity of <laughs> everyone. 79% human? A hundred percent human? What are we making these things out of? What are we... What is this? Why are we... What? Oh, no. Oh, and it turns to dust in eight days. Um, Let's get one of these. One of these. One of these. Excited to tap that barrel? Select the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it. Oh. Uh, how about Druid's Foot? Have staff install the barrel. Get to work, Diana. Oh, merchant leaves. Pay 13. Merchant arrives in a day and a half. Okay. Cool. Is there a way to speed this up? Here we go. Just for the sake of time. For basic necessities, I think you're ready to open for business. Unlock those doors. I don't have a door. Oh, I see. <gasps> More confetti, I love it. The rotten stump. Actually, you know what? The rotten stump for my tavern? Fitting. Signed, sealed, delivered. Can I not? How do I... Eddie. Evening, gentlemen. Oh my gosh, Diana, you're the best. Dead simple, see? Now, let me show you how to make your tavern more cozy. Okay. Let's do it. Decorating your tavern truly makes it your own. Take oh. the table, for example. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. Okay. You might decorate it with something simple. Perhaps place a centerpiece? But why stop there? You can change and tweak every element according to your mood. Ooh, feeling romantic? And you needn't stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine, piece by piece. Wow. For now, let's try something simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. You'll have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. Wow. I, if, 
that is truly Shut up. Well, there's no accounting for taste. How dare you? That's enough decorating for now. <laughs> you know, I found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Sure. Go on. Run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star. Read the Gazette. Wow, finish demo. Three days remaining. Try getting a star. Find the hidden coin. Build a storeroom. Interesting. What is happening? Holy. Oh, I see. Perfect. Oversaw workplace safety at the Swimming Princess. Relaxes by fulfilling prophecies. <laughs> Lauded at the Double Duck for taking the blame. Hired. I need at least one other guy. Read the Gazette. Where do I read the Gazette? Newspaper. A notification will pop up on the right-hand side during the first day. Click it to read. Marking events. Low stock. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. We're running low on Druid's foot. Uh, we're at a Druid's foot. Uh, let's grab a couple more of these, just to be safe. Riley? Yeah, let's clean up a little bit here, bud. Can I not build a wall? A world map? Tavern menu? Okay. Drink? Have at least two drinks on your tavern? Can I build another... I want to build another tap. Yeah. And we're going to do... Let's do... Orc. Orc. Sure. Why not? Buy you Chronicle. <laughs> Dark Lord steps down. Good. Excellent. I'm so glad the Dark Lord steps down. A mere year after gathering a Legion of the Dead and conquering the realm, the Dark Lord has decided to get it all, give it all back. Maybe he's not so dark after all. Maybe he's just misunderstood. <laughs> Ruling things is actually really boring, he admitted. Hmm. Heroes who had already embarked on thrilling quests to dethrone him have expressed disappointment. Yeah, I don't blame him. Turning your adventure gathering into an adventuring party. <laughs> Local pixies delve into higher maths. Create fairy tesseracts. Ugh, well, the pixies are at it again. Soothsayers say in times nigh, this is just a demo. <laughs> I I love the personality. I love it. I I love it. 100% love the personality. Okay, place a dartboard. All right. Hallway, lighting, foundation, decorative maybe, outdoors. Uh hallway, bulletin board, floor mat. Okay. Foundation, decorative, roof sign, staff room. Hot belly stove. Uh. Ooh, can I? No. Magic. Uh, what is this? Oh, oh, I veered too far into the abyss. Okay. What's the dartboard? Here. How do I do it? Uh, use the build menu. Look for a dartboard. Build rooms, store room, staff room, hallway. Bar, dartboard. Uh. Oh, where am I gonna put it? All right, there. Done, skis. Build a storeroom. Did I not build a storeroom? Few storeroom furniture pieces. Okay. No, that's not what I want. Tap room. Nope. Storeroom. There we go. Cool. Is that the hidden coin? Bullseye. Boom! Like I meant it. Try gaining a star. Okay. Can't do, boss. Hey, 
I have to say, what were my other objects? Flat textiles. Can I get some lights in here? No. Okay. Nature? No. Inlays? Onlays? Some text? Want some rough lumber? Um, I wanted to put something. I just wanted to put some nice... How about an incense bowl? It's so cool that you can do this, by the way. I feel like most, uh, most, like, tavern... I wouldn't, I shouldn't say, like, tavern games, but most management games do not focus on the teeny tiny stuff like that. So, 100% really really cool oh no our druid's foot <laughs> I love it I just I kind of want to just speed through let's just see what happens oh a storybook sir are you a skeleton you hear a dry rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's rattlestick? <laughs> but when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, fixing you with a baleful, undead stare. The skeleton's jaw creaks open slowly, the ghastly voice of death spilling forth. Cheers, mate. Dreadful chilly out. You open. Yeah, we serve everyone in all kinds. The name's Cusper. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. All right. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing <laughs> it around. Sure. The ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Yeah. The spirits, and I could use a bit of that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Something the matter. <laughs> mid-death crisis clasps it tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug truth is my art's not in the job anymore been starting to wonder did i become a dungeon henchman because it was what i wanted or because it was expected of me sure I could be missing out on a job i really love yeah you know being a dungeon henchman ain't all it's cracked up to be you should change things up. What do you want to do? I want a job where I can chat with people. Uh. They like what you do. Yeah. Cuthbert sighs, the mournful sound coming from deep in his open rib cage. Sure. It makes no sense whatsoever. Absolutely. He brings the mug up to his skull and taps the rim against his teeth. Yeah. In the dungeon, it's always about blocking doors and doing spooky dances. Sure. If anyone stops to talk before they knock my skull off with a big hammer. Yeah, that's got to be hard. Why not? We encourage we encourage everybody. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeeps. Makes doing the groceries right difficult. Cuthbert waves his finger bones in a vaguely dismissive gesture. Who would hire an employee that makes their customers squeamish? I'd hire you. I'd hire you, Cuthbert. I would if they were a hard worker. You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword. Oh. oh. Cuthbert, you're one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, what's the problem here? Oh. What's the other one? Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, let's calm down a little. What? Purchase a barrel and load it into one of your taps. Yeah, isn't that what I just did? My goodness. Uh, I, I could get lost in this game. I'll I'll put it that way. Nice skeleton is looking for a new job by now. You should check the new application. Cuthbert. Oh, this is what we're going to end on. This is what we're going to end on right here.
I don't care what you got going on, Cuthbert. <laughs> I'm, I'll hire you. Look at you. Look at you. Human. Aren't we all human deep down? Well, no, but Cuthbert is. Ugh, look at you. Ready to take orders and serve. I love it. I love it, Cuthbert. You're gonna come work for me, my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> I pause. I I love it. I this is a game that some, my wife absolutely loves. Cozy Games, right? Stardew Valley. Um, I got her Baron Breakfast uh, around the time that that came out. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've gotten her into. Yeah, Stardew Valley, Baron Breakfast. Uh, I think she was into Harvest Moon for a while there. Uh, all the cozy games. This is a game that she would she would love and adore with all of her heart. It's also fantasy oriented, which is like one of her favorites. So one of her favorite genres. So I honestly, I would. This is a this is a game that I would also get lost in. I know it's been kind of a long video, but. I love the character and the humor that it has in it. I love the storybooks. I kind of feel like they take you out of the pace, but uh, or take you out of like the pace and the norm of what this game is trying to do. And I I think it it works. I feel like when you're playing these games, like City Skylines is kind of one that comes to mind where like you can literally just zone and build to your heart's content and like unless you've got the natural disasters on nothing is stopping you from just building and zoning to your heart's content there is no halt to that uh like game loop there's not there's also nothing that makes that game loop more interesting the storybooks add personality character they add a little bit of a storytelling element they take me out of just the the what this will of this game will have eventually become like monotonous if i just have to manage this tavern the whole time that i'm playing so it kind of it's a nice break from the uh from just the standard gaming loop and it also it just adds to the overall again like i keep using the word character but it just adds to the overall like personality to this game and i love it so this has been tavern keeper greenheart it's by greenheart games on tiktok go check them out on tiktok this is the demo on steam i'll i'll try to remember to link both below if not the demo will for sure be linked below thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you all in the next one Take care. That's what I thought, devs. Okay? I I am a hard-headed gamer. I will do this until the screen is full full of nested in tooltips.